Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a vlog and haul of the National Pet Show. I did go along on Saturday the 7th of November and had so much fun and got to see lots of things and purchased a couple of bits and bobs. So first there'll be a vlog and then there'll be a haul. So when I was at the show I actually did go and see Piggy Pig Pigs and I was so happy to finally go and see her products and meet her and she's so lovely and she was so nice to me and thank you so much Piggy Pig Pigs for being so lovely to me and my friends and I saw Gizmo and Alfie, I was starstruck seeing Gizmo and Alfie and Father Piggy Pig Pigs, I saw him too and it was just amazing and Piggy Pig Pigs, Laura and everyone, her dad and everyone was just so lovely and so nice and it's so good to finally go and meet them and buy one of her products and just thank you so much for being so lovely and it really has proved right why she has such a popular YouTube channel because she's such a nice person. As well as that I also met Furry Friends which was also equally amazing and we got to finally chat. I think we were kind of looking for each other all day and I think we bumped into each other nearer the end of the day which was quite lucky especially because I was so tired that I was missing quite a few people and people were like waving at me and I didn't realise but I'm glad you stopped me so thank you so much for having a chat to me also. As well as that I bumped into so many of you which was amazing you absolutely made my day for coming to talk to me and you really did put a smile on my face. I won't name any, any of you but just in case you don't want to be named and I had a few pictures sent um, of me with a few of you but I don't want to put them on just in case you don't want them on but um, thank you so much for coming up to me and to having a chat with me it was just so strange I was kind of like are you talking to me is it my videos you watch it was just so strange but you all absolutely made my day coming up to me and I can still remember every single conversation I had with all of you that came up to me that day. There was um, one person, I won't name her name just in case, but she had five rabbits and she was showing me pictures of, of the rabbits and she'd built this huge castle and it was just the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. It was huge for her five rabbits and it's just made me really want to build a castle now because it was just amazing, this huge, huge castle. And oh, it was lovely talking to you and everybody else. And as well as that, my friends that were with me, one of my friends is actually fostering the Pumpkin Sisters. And I think I spoke to someone about it. I think it was the person with the five rabbits. I think I was, we were talking to you about the foster guinea pigs. But my friends taking in Pumpkin's two sisters. So it was really good to all chat as kind of pet people and guinea pig people and just share everything and talk about all the guinea pigs and my new guinea pig and my friends new two guinea pigs and the foster guinea pig and it was just so good so thank you so much for coming to chat to me coming to share your pictures of your pets having pictures with me and just generally making me so happy and putting a huge smile on my face so let's now get on to the vlog and after that we'll go straight into the haul and I'll also show you all of the freebies and leaflets and bits and bobs that I got too.
first of all, I'm going to start by showing you all of the freebies we got. Now, we did get a lot of um, freebies for small animals, but the majority of freebies are for cats and dogs. And at first I was refusing them because obviously I don't have a cat or a dog. But then I thought I might as well collect some of the dog items to give to my neighbour who has a little Yorkshire Terrier. So I'll show you all of the freebies first and then I'll show you the things I purchased. So my first few freebies are from Burgess and these, I, because I didn't, I don't have a dog and I wasn't sure really what sample to take so I asked the lady and she just suggested I take one of each so it was really kind of them. So I had, I, I got a sensitive British, British turkey and rice adult complete and I also got the Scottish salmon and rice and that's an adult complete as well and I also got the British lamb and rice adult complete so I also got a few samples from Eden and I'm not sure of this company I've not heard of them or, or tried them before so I'm going to ask my friend what she thinks of them but um, these actually have sizes on so this is small kibble small kibble and medium kibble but they, the person that was at the stall actually said that it was okay to just try a few because it's not necessarily the size of the dog it's just the size of the kibble and he said that they could be used for treats and things like that so I got a small country cuisine formula small kibble this is the same one country cuisine formula small kibble and this one is catch of the day formula medium kibble I then got two of these science plan small and miniature um, adult one to six chicken and turkey and these are just I'm not sure if they're kibble or little treats but um, I just picked up a couple anyway and obviously I got the small and miniature because my friend's dog is a Yorkshire Terrier. I then got a bag of these Betty Miller's Oven Baked Emergency Dog Biscuits and these are just little treats or training treats. Now these two freebies were actually in the bag that you got as you went in so you were given kind of goodie bag and we ended up with two so um, I ended up with two of these. Now. I'm, I'm going to offer these to my friend but if she doesn't use them I, I'll keep them and use them for our hedgehog that visits us quite often in the garden. As some of you know I do like to feed our little hedgehog, I give him some cat or dog food every now and then and this is just um, simply gentle lamb and rice so it would be completely safe for hedgehogs. I will see if my friend wants it first but if not I will be able to use both of those. I then got three of these little poo bag things and these were also in the bag so I got one in each bag and they were by Go Compare and then this company called Pet Rest were also giving free ones so they gave me one as well. I didn't realise I ended up with three until I emptied the bags but they always come in handy I suppose. But um, that's how I ended up with three but they're all pretty much the same. I then got a sample of this Cham Cham Dog Treat 100% Natural and these people were really nice. They were telling us that the treat was actually just cheese and it was an all natural product and all of their, I can't remember if that's the end product they had or all of their products were natural and organic but they looked like a really really good company so I'd recommend checking them out if you have a dog. So they gave me a sample and I'll show you their leaflet as well but this is what the treat looks like. They gave me a couple of samples and they said that you can actually microwave it and slice it into smaller treats. So. And here's the larger piece they gave me. So they said it, that they were really good natural treats for dogs. So here are all their details. You probably can't see it very well because of the glare. But um, let's see if they have... Oh, there we go. Chamchamdogtreat.co.uk. So they have a website. I definitely suggest giving them a, have a look if you've got a dog. Because they seem really genuine and nice. And their um, treats look really nice and natural. I was also given one of these cute little um, fluffy stick on things from naturalinstinct.com dog and cat food is nature intended and I'll probably just give that to my niece. So the fish company Fluval, I think that's how you say it, we're also giving out little goodie bags and I thought might as well take one because we have got all the goldfish in the pond as well as my brother having tropical fish and keeping them for quite a few years. I always like to go through the leaflets and little booklets because it's always interesting. So. They gave us a few leaflets and booklets and I didn't realise either but they actually also gave us a little sample of their tropical fish flakes so that's quite good and I'll probably give that to my brother. There was also a free pen in the, <laughs> the gift bag and who doesn't love a free pen? 
so I think this counts as a freebie but when we were in between kind of rabbit shows and rabbit um, warm-ups they were showing us how to make willow balls and I wasn't the best at it and actually one of my viewers actually came up to me when I was making one and he was the nicest person so thank you for coming up to me when I was making one of these because it distracted me from looking bad at making gay willow ball because I was really really bad at them but um, my friends were really good at these I just tried and I didn't do very well but I thought I'll bring them home and the guinea pigs will chew on them and enjoy them no matter what they look like they don't judge me so that's okay so now on to the small animal freebies, I didn't really get much because they don't really do much fruit, many freebies for small animals apart from the kind of willow things and stuff like that but I did get these five packs of Burgess food from Burgess obviously. I picked up a couple at the beginning and I actually asked if they had mint because I wanted you know one in mint and one in black currant and they didn't have any so they gave me a couple more blackcurrant and then at the end of the day they were giving more out again so I just thought I might as well take one and as you know I love Burgess the guinea pigs don't like it as a main food sort of but then again they used to be on the blackcurrant and I've got oregano but it was so hard to source that I just changed them onto the pets at home and I've found the pets at home to be better for them anyway personally Burgess XL in my opinion is just as good but for my guinea pigs I found pets at home guinea pig nuggets much better for them but um, they didn't like the mint they'll have it as a treat but once it's fed as a main food source they won't eat it so I use these as little treats I think they're great for treats and same if you're on Burgess XL food you could use guinea pig pets at home nuggets as little treats because it makes a healthier treat than something else like the biscuits and things like that but I just picked up five of them, not all at once, but throughout the day. So they were super kind of samples from Bougie's XL. I also thought I'd show you some leaflets that I picked up that are small animal related. I got loads of leaflets, I'll show you in a second, not one by one. I'll just show you the pile that I got. But um, these are some that I thought I wanted, I would like to show. So Wood Green were giving out these little booklets and these are really good. So um, I picked up one of those and that was just for myself really. Now these are little things that you I thought you might like to have a look at. So the first one is this company called Cozy Beds and Burrows and they sold a selection of cozy beds for I think mostly aimed at rats but they had some for guinea pigs, hamsters, well not hamsters but um, chinchillas that kind of thing. Um, they did have hamster sized ones but hamsters would only be able to use them in a playpen because they'd chew them and pouch them most likely but they had a really good selection of really nice stuff and I'll show you the couple of things I bought from them after and they had little carrion pouches as well which were nice so definitely check those out. I also have their little card which has got the same details on, it has their website so you might want to check that out, it's just cozybedsandburrows.weebly.com and something else I want to show you is this. Now, the lady at this, the piggy store, Pet Piggies, and that's www.petpiggies.co.uk, she was so nice and we chatted to her for ages at the end of the show. Um, pigs are something, not just guinea pigs, but also pigs, something I absolutely love and I'm really passionate about kind of the way farm animals are treated. It really. It makes me feel really bad when you know how they're treated. I mean, I eat meat, don't get me wrong, but I prefer, you know, free range and that kind of thing. And she was talking all about that and it was really, really interesting. And she was talking about how pigs are treated and their intelligence and how it really makes them suffer. For example, when their babies are taken away from them at three days old, pigs are so intelligent that they know and it, it's, devastates them and she was talking all about that and how you know if we ate more free range and organic and things like that it would really help and she was talking about pet pigs as pets and how they're really clean and they make great pets and they're loyal and intelligent and it was just really really interesting and I would really recommend to check out her website and share her website because she was just a fantastic lady and it was really really interesting talking to her and hearing all about the pigs so that's something I really enjoyed finding out about 
and this was a wooden pet house company that I saw and it was called Manor Pet Housing. They looked really good and you'd just seen them in the vlog. They had some really nice products. And finally, some a hammock company called Ratty Angels and that was just selling rat products but could also be suitable for other pets. And here are all the other leaflets that I got. So onto the products that I bought, I first of all got this bundle of fruit sticks, I'm not sure what they are, they're either willow or something similar, but I just got them from Wood Green, I didn't want to carry them around really, but um, it was for a charity, so I wanted to donate somehow, so I paid a pound for these, which is amazing, it's huge, huge <laughs> pile of sticks, can you imagine me carrying that around, it was sticking out my bag and it was doing all sorts, hitting everyone. But um, I just thought I'd pick that up for the pig. So these are the products that I got from that company I was just telling you about. And I thought these were a brilliant idea. They're so simple. And you can change the covers, which is really good. And I got two because hopefully I'll only need two. So once I've got the herd all together, I'll only have two cages. Fingers crossed. So I only got two. But um, aren't they just so cute? And what they are is they're little um, beds. So you hook them over the side of a cage, so hopefully they'll go over the glass. If not, I'll drill little holes at the back of the cage and they can go in there. They hook over and then they're just little raised beds and it had pictures of guinea pigs on them and they just look adorable. And I think it's a great idea because I've found that my guinea pigs pee and poo on things that are on the floor and when they have had fleece that's higher up, for example on top of a bridge or on top of a level, they haven't peed on it and I don't know whether that's just my guinea pigs but I just thought this was a great idea for that kind of thing and I thought it suited my guinea pigs so well so hopefully they won't pee on these if they do they're easy to wash and take off and you can change it and buy changeable covers which is really nice so I'm excited about these I think it's a really nice thing I, I know Pumpkin will love them because she's a real little cheeky climber she's already trying to get her paws up on the glass and obviously she's way too small at the minute but um I think they're going to love those and they were only £6 each. So finally my favourite purchase of the whole vlog and haul was of course a product from Piggy Pig Pigs, it was a pig one and I've been wanting a pig one for so long. I wanted to wait until the show because I wanted to see it and see in case I wanted something different but I kind of knew I wanted a pig one. It was only £15 which I think is a really good deal, it's so strong and yeah it's nice and soft and squishy the inside is so padded and nice and I'm sure it'd be easy to wash and it's just been made so nicely I just love it and look how cute the print and everything is I just I'm absolutely in love with it it's so cute and Laura was so kind to me she also gave me a um, I love guinea pig sign and she also gave me a cool piggies live here sign which I love and in here <laughs> I've kept them in here so I don't lose them she also gave me two piggy pig pig stickers she was so kind to me if you haven't purchased anything from her before I would highly suggest purchasing from her because her products are just amazing the tunnel I've used tons with the pigs already and they absolutely love it so I'm so excited to use something like this with them I'm definitely going to be using it with the herd and um, I mean you could get two or three piggies in there easy it's just so well made and so nicely put together I just love it so much um, here's a little leaflet with all of her other products on in case you wanted to see she's doing some really nice little cupcake beds now so that's what they all look like but thank you so much um, Laura from Piggy Pig Pigs I'm so made up with your products they are my favourite things from the whole day and the whole haul and vlog and everything I just I'm so excited about this, it's just the cutest thing ever and I'm so grateful for the signs and stickers too. Also here's the little magazine that I got with all the information in and I obviously oh, I try and keep these, I've only been to two shows but I've kept the last one, I'll keep one of these. I ended up with three somehow but I'll keep one as a little keepsake from the show. And here's everything that I got, apart from all the leaflets and bits and bobs like that but these are all the freebies and things I purchased at the National Pet Show this year. So thank you so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up, I would really really appreciate that. Comment down below how many animals you saw in my vlog video, I would really like to know if you could 
remember or how many you could spot. So comment down below and also comment how many animals you saw. Let me know if you went to the show, if you enjoyed it, who you saw, what you did, what was your favourite thing. I'd love to know. So give it a like, give it a comment and I will see you very soon. Bye everyone.